Finding better treatments for COVID has involved a lot of trial and error, but now researchers at Penn Medicine are playing a key part in figuring out what works and what doesn't. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us with more on the Corona Project. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Jessica. Well, at the heart of this project is a doctor who discovered a treatment for his own rare disease. He's hoping to do the same for COVID. This is a listing of all the drugs that look most promising. Dr. David Fegenbaum and his research team at Penn Medicine have a database of 500 drugs used to treat COVID-19. They're all repurposed, originally developed for something else. We've reviewed over 29,000 published papers, data on over 270,000 patients. The Corona Project database is an analytical review of what works and when. It's used by doctors to calculate COVID treatments and helps the government determine what to research. Lots of drugs were being tried, like hydroxychloroquine, now ivermectin for COVID. He says those two are among many treatments that don't work as well as others. Baricitinib, remdesivir, dexamethasone, and tocilizumab. These are the four most effective drugs. For Dr. Fagenbaum, it's personal. He discovered a treatment for a rare disease he has. And now he's applying the same strategy to the coronavirus. I have a disease called Castleman disease, which involves the immune system getting out of control, in many ways very similar to COVID. The disease nearly killed him several times until he found a treatment that worked, a journey he chronicles in his memoir, Chasing My Cure. I'm alive today because of a drug that no one had ever even thought about for my disease that I decided to repurpose and test on myself. Seven years in remission now. Before COVID, his team researched potential treatments for other diseases. Given that I'm alive because of a repurposed drug, I decided I wanted to dedicate my life to trying to figure out what other drugs are already out there that are sitting at your neighborhood pharmacy that might actually be treatments or cures for a disease that you or someone you love have. Now, for COVID, Dr. Fagenbaum says vaccines are clearly the best prevention. And in terms of treatments, he thinks they will continue to get better and become more specified to different stages of the virus. Jessica? All right, Stephanie, thank you.